I'm smiling because the bike is going together beautifully. I mean, this is our paper bike, painted it yellow, all these black bits bolted on, it looks like Bumblebee. Just loving it, okay? Now, I haven't bothered doing any videos on bolting on bits because, well, it's just a ton of videos on bolting on bits. If you want to know how to fasten a wheel to a bike frame, well, watch a video on fastening a wheel to a bike frame. However, the sharp amongst you will have noticed there's no back wheel and there's no chain and pedals. The reason for that is I want to do something slightly different with the drive. First things, I want it to be a belt drive. Now, belt drives are awesome. Suzuki used them in their big production machine, the 1.4 litre thing that you can kill yourself on in five minutes if you try, that one. They use a belt drive and they're just an awesome, awesome drive system. And of course, in videos 1063 and 1064, we made a bamboo e-scooter using an e-scooter drivetrain like this one. And if you look at this one, it's got a massive cog attached to the wheel to a little cog on the motor. Gives a fantastic response. The gear ratio here is 6 to 1. And I've been told somewhere between 6 to 1 and 8 to 1 is what you actually want. So, I want to put that together with the belt drive and make a massive cog on the back wheel. So, here's the back wheel. And here's what I'm going to use to make that massive cog with. It's a timing belt. Now, we did this in video 1084, the easiest gears you'll ever make, and what we do basically is turn the timing belt inside out, find something to fill it, and fix it on there, and we have our massive cog. So what I'm going to use for that is another bicycle wheel. So that's the rear wheel, that's the cog, we have another bicycle wheel. What we're going to do is chop it out, attach the drive belt, and fasten it to the rear wheel, and that will be our drive cog belt onto the motor, that's our drive system. So let's make that cog. The bits we're going to use, we've got ourselves another kid cycle wheel. This one's got a steel rim, which is great because it means you can weld to it. And we're going to strip out this rim. So get rid of the spokes, keep the axle incidentally, we're going to want the axle for something. Once we do that, we'll get a rim like that. That rim actually is just big enough to take the drive belt inside out. Pretty cool. Once we've done that, we're then going to fasten it to our rear wheel like that. anything there's always a couple of ways you can do something now I could have welded this wheel onto this other rim that's going to be the main rim but I decided instead to bolt it so what I did was basically super glue them together and then I can drill all the way through so it drills through there in the same line up and I put a mark on there can line up the same and then I can separate it now I can put a load of bolts in there and bolt it through and I'm going to put six bolts on if it's not enough then I can add more bolts but this side is where the tire will go back on so those heads are rounded and the tire will press against them so it's not going to wear through on this side what we're going to do is fill that with resin so it doesn't matter a bolt sticking through it so all I have to do now is feed those bolts in put in a nut as a spacer and then I can drop that back on there and bolt it down so I've fixed one bicycle rim to the other bicycle rim and you can see it jutting out there. I've put some resin in there because it creates a flat surface. Now all I've got to do is take my timing belt and glue it onto there and I've got my big cog. Now I'm going to use cyan acrylic or crazy glue or super glue, whatever you want to call it. But clearly things like rubber cement or an acrylic glue or that sort of stuff will do the job just as well. I tend to use cyan acrylic glues, it's just me. But that goes on nicely there to make my big drive cog. So once you put the tire back on and glued that on, that's what you get. And that is now our drive system. We've got this massive drive cog attached directly to that tire. So we are mimicking that. That's what we're going to stick on the paper bike. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to subscribe.